Hello everybody and welcome to another Genshin Impact Achievements video. Today I have two achievements for you related to the Perpetual Mechanical Array boss, both of which are hidden in the Wonders of the World Achievements list. Now, normally for this boss, I would teleport in, but because Inazuma is relatively new, I'm going to quickly show you how to get here for anyone that does not have this waypoint unlocked yet. To get here, you'll take a portal on southeast Jinren Island, but if you don't have Jinren Island unlocked yet, simply take the boat to the south and head over to this area here. From here, you can use the electric renin to fly up to the portal, which warps you right in front of the boss. If you've never fought this boss before, just know it doesn't have any revival mechanics like the hypostases do, but it does have an attack phase where it will separate into four sentinels. Both of the achievements are centered around these sentinels. I'm gonna go ahead and start the boss fight up. For this part, just do as much damage as you possibly can before it changes phases. Now, normally during this phase, you would attack the sentinel that has the type of incantation ring around it to end the phase and weaken the boss. But for this achievement, you actually want to wait out the entire phase without defeating the specified sentinel. This can be tricky since they pretty frequently body block you into corners and combine attacks, but some of that can be mitigated with a healer and a shield character, especially if you know how to paralyze each sentinel on top of that. I'll show you how to paralyze each type in the second part of the video. There will be a timestamp in the description if that's what you're looking for. This phase does take a really long time to wait out, so be patient. As far as I know, there's no way to mess this up unless you defeat the target sentinel, so just try to stay alive. I will put a timer up so you can see exactly how long this phase lasts for because it's a pretty long time. And once this sentinel phase is over, you can go back to button mashing and finish off the boss to get the achievement. The second part of the achievement that we're going to be talking about is practically the opposite of the first, where you want to defeat the mechanical array after paralyzing every type of its rune sentinels. I did this boss a few times because I wanted to be able to show you guys exactly how to paralyze each type because it can be a little difficult to execute. So there's four types and for the sake of the video I'm just going to call them the snake, the jellyfish, the crab, and the Dorito. <laughs> For each of these, you can use regular attacks or you can use your elemental skill to paralyze it. For the snake, you can paralyze it during its laser attack or you can execute the paralyze during the vacuum attack. For the jellyfish, you're going to want to look out for the sideways cannon attack. You can just go ahead and hit it because it has its eye exposed. For the crab, you're going to want to hit it while it does this charged attack where it exposes its eye. And for me, the Dorito is the hardest. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm just bad at the game or if the hitbox is a little bit different than the others, but this one seems harder to paralyze in my opinion. I am unsure about its other attacks, but I can confirm for sure that you can paralyze it while it's doing this charged attack. You can see here that I hit it multiple times, but only the last part of the combo was a successful hit. Sometimes it just doesn't work though, as you can see here with my Bennett struggling to paralyze it. And in this case with my XQ, it got it on the first hit. So if you're having the issue where you can't paralyze the Dorito, just be patient. <laughs> you might have to do two sets of this phase to get it done. That's what I had to do personally. It's also worth mentioning that killing the target sentinel does not count as paralyzing it. You still have to hit its weak spot in order to paralyze it and get the achievement. So make sure that you paralyze each type once, including the target sentinel. And after you paralyze each type once, you can go ahead and defeat that target sentinel and end the phase, and then you can finish off the boss and get the achievement. That's all I've got for you guys today. Hopefully this helped someone out there. As always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because it really helps my channel out. And I will see you all in the next video.